Hello, my name is Robert Krauss. I'm an independent consultant for Epicor Software. I have 10 years experience with Epicor Software, five years with Epicor directly as an independent consultant, and five years as an end user. In all my implementations with Epicor Software, I had an issue with the fact on how Epicor manages physical inventory using count cards. Count cards seem to be extremely inefficient and also has cumbersome type, type of activities. Now, getting past that, I'm using Excel as an option to record inventory transactions and using the, another Epicor tool called DMT, Data Migration Tool, to take those transactions and upload them into the system. This is really a very efficient way to take inventory and record it into Epicor. So what I do is I have uh, to capture inventory in the warehouse. I have teams, several teams set up in a location with, with carts just like this. It's mobile, it has a computer, it's got a printer, and it's got a barcode scanner like this, okay? So we go through in a systematic way through the warehouse and we identify every product, every bin location, and the quantity in that bin location. So once all the teams go through and capture all the information, they collect it into a single Excel file that I append that will allow me to look at all the data. I have a pivot table to identify and totalize the inventory in all locations. It also does a reconciliation to the stock status report. And as a result, it compares the two together, gives me the variances, and the variances are now reported back into Excel that would produce a recount sheet. So the recount sheet sends the people back out with their work centers to go and recount the, var uh, the variances that we found and then come back and we append that into a file and then we reconcile that file and find out the variances. If we accept the variances, then what we do is we take another Epicor tool called DMT data migration tool, and we take those numbers and adjust our inventory through an upload. This is a very simple process, especially using Excel and DMT. So we get rid of all the count cards required to, for Epicor in a standard function. Okay, now I'm going to show you the practical application of how we record the inventory in the warehouse. We have bin locations like this. Okay. We take the bin location and we scan it. We have the quantity and bin location. The bin location is A1. And I enter the quantity, which is 636. Okay, we have another scenario where we have a product that is not barcoded, is just hand printed. So what I do is I enter the part number in our system. It comes up invalid because it's, I did a typo. So that's one good thing about our system, which we make sure we have valid part numbers we're entering into our accounting system. So I go back. I correct the part number and then I hit print and it develops a barcode that I can put right on this now you're starting if you're starting barcode system in your warehouse, you can go through using this program, and if you're not barcoded, you can develop barcode labels and put them right on the product. So it's great for starting a barcode system. So once we have collected all the data from all the scans, all the quantities, and all the bin locations, we take it in, put it into one central Excel file, we append the data, I do a pivot table to match that data, and then the pivot table will take and tell us where we need to do recounts. We do the recounts and then what we do is record that data again. Finally, 
Once we decide that this is our true count number, we take an excellent tool that Epicor has called the DMT, Data Migration Tool, and then we upload the inventory status and we're done with physical inventory. We a very simple process that you can do yourself or if you have difficulty getting the Excel file to work the way you want, I'm more than willing to assist in making this happen for you. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I, I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.